Hello and welcome to this AR workshop on Build with Geospatial Creator and the Places API from Google Maps Platform. My name is Derek Bridey, and I'm a Developer Relations Engineer on AR Core. And today, we'll combine Geospatial Creator and the new Places API to create a Geospatial Creator experience that can be anchored to multiple locations in Unity. Geospatial Creator in Unity, powered by AR Core and photorealistic 3D tiles from Google Maps Platform, lets you quickly build and visualize AR experiences for a specific latitude and longitude, all within the Unity editor. We recently added the ability to create and edit geospatial creator anchors programmatically, making it easier to create geospatial experiences at places defined in an external list. Today, we'll be doing just that, querying the Places API to find similar places and anchor geospatial content from its search results. First, we'll start with setting up all the required accounts, software, and the Unity project. Then, we'll use the Unity editor to anchor our initial geospatial content. Plus, we'll use the Places API to retrieve geographical information for a search term. Those results will be used to duplicate this anchor to different locations in the real world using c -sharp. Finally, we'll experience our augmented reality creation out in the real world. To complete this workshop, you'll need the following. A supported AR Core Android or iOS device that's set up for local development, and a Google Cloud project that has billing enabled. Check out the links on screen for more information about these requirements. This workshop also has an accompanying textual code lab where you can read through all the steps I'll be going through in detail. If you get stuck, be sure to check out the links and steps over there. With all that out of the way, let's get started with the workshop. We'll start by setting up a Google Cloud project that has billing enabled. Billing setup is required for this code lab, but you will only be charged if a project exceeds its quota of no charge services. If you don't have billing enabled already, create one in the billing page. Fill in a name for your project and click Create. Then we'll enable three APIs for this project. Head to APIs and Services, then Library, and search for the Map Tiles API. This API provides the photorealistic 3D tiles which are visible in Geospatial Creator in the Unity Editor. Let's enable it. Then, go back and search for the AR Core API. This lets you access the AR Core Geospatial API on the target device. We'll enable this one too. Finally, the Places API. This API provides rich place data for over 250 million points of interest and offers detailed information about places, including phone numbers, addresses, and more. We'll use the new version, which includes more new fields, attributes, and accessibility options, and more powerful search. This is the last API we'll enable for the workshop. Then, we'll set up an API key that your app uses to authenticate itself with Google Cloud. Using the search bar, find credentials in APIs and services. Press Create Credentials and select API Key. Copy this API key and save it for later. Finally, we'll configure the software. Using Unity Hub, we'll install the correct version of Unity. We'll use the 2022.3 version of Unity. And don't forget to install Android or iOS build tools along with it. Now, we'll import the sample project. Press Add, and then Add Project from Disk to import the project. Pick the 2022.3 version of Unity. When the project is done importing, we'll set up your API key. Go to Edit, and then Project Settings. Then find XR Plugin Management, and then AR Core Extensions. Enable API key authentication for your preferred target platform and insert the key you got from before in the API key fields. Finally, open file and then build settings. Switch the target platform to either Android or iOS. Finally, we'll configure Geospatial Creator. In the hierarchy, click on AR Geospatial Creator Origin. In the inspector pane, paste the key into the API key field once more. Then we'll use the search to find an area near the point of interest. 
In this workshop, I'll be using the San Francisco Public Library in California, but feel free to pick any location near you. In the Inspector pane, click Search for Location. You should see the building pop up in Unity. Great! With everything set up, let's get to creating. The sample project contains a 3D model of a book that you can use. Add a geospatial creator anchor using XR and then AR geospatial creator anchor. We'll use this anchor to position our 3D AR content. In the project panel, find the book prefab located in assets and drag it as a child of the new anchor in the hierarchy. We'll use the handles to put the anchor in just the right spot. Then change the anchor type to rooftop and the altitude relative to rooftop to 15. We'll use this anchor as a prototype and duplicate it to other locations. Those other locations will be obtained from the Places API. Start by opening the anchor duplicator.cs file in Project, Scripts, and then Editor. We'll paste our API key in the API key variable. Then we'll start with our code to query the Places API. If you want to copy and paste the text into your editor, check out the code lab. Find the create places request method and add the following code. The post body variable contains the query that we'll send to the places API. It specifies a textual query and the area that we're interested in as a circle around a given point. This is sent as a JSON post body in a post request to the places API. We're interested in the place's display name and location. Now let's check our work. A menu item is provided that runs the request and outputs the results. Click Google AR Code Lab, then Run Places Request. Then check out the results in the Unity console. You should see a list of places appear in the console. Now that we've verified that the Places API call works, we'll use the results to create new geospatial creator anchors. Find the create new anchors from places method and add the following code. For each places search result, we duplicate the first geospatial creator anchor. Let's run our scripts. Click Google AR Code Lab, then create new anchors from places response you should see additional anchors added into the hierarchy. Let's double check our anchors. In the hierarchy pane, select one of the anchors and press F. If it doesn't look like it's in the right place, use the movement handles in Unity or the snap to tile button to put it where you like it. Let's just check one more. Finally, we'll use build and run to build the app for your AR device. Travel to the locations and start the app, and look at the building you anchored the content to. To conclude, in this workshop, we use Geospatial Creator to visualize an augmented reality experience in the real world. We also use the Places API from Google Maps platform to find similar places and anchor geospatial content from the search results. Then we use the results to duplicate our anchor to different locations in the real world using C-sharp. And finally, we viewed it in augmented reality. To learn more about Geospatial Creator and the Places API, visit these links. Follow us on X and LinkedIn to stay up to date on all the latest things from Google AR and VR. And with that, thanks for your interest in Geospatial Creator. We can't wait to see what you'll create in augmented reality using our tools.